welcome everyone to a new iot tutorial and in this tutorial i am going to discuss fire alarm system using arduino uno with sms alerts and for sms alerts we are using the sim 900 gsm module and uh, this is a um, arduino based project in which we are using various sensors which includes the mq2 uh, smoke sensor the flame sensor uh, buzzer and uh, the leds and the lcd display as well i will discuss the following in this session in the first part we'll show you the demo of this project and in next part going to show you the requirements that what are the required components and the softwares needed and in the third part uh, i will show you the circuit diagram that uh, how i created and how you, you will assemble all your parts to create this project in the fourth part you will see the project and architecture that how this uh, action is uh, the sms alert system is working and the fire detection is working in this project and at last we are going to see the arduino code which i have written for this project so you can see here the whole system which is basically here is a gsm module this is the lcd display this is the flame sensor right above and there are two two leds right here uh, green led which is right now turned on which means that there is no fire detected uh, right away and the fire detection is carried by two sensors like flame sensors and smoke sensor we can ca we can detect fire by any of these two sensors and uh, what is the response of fire basically we are going to uh, buzzer uh, this uh, alarm will trigger on as a response and a sms alert is also generated you can uh, you can see the same right here this is the mobile screen of my uh, this is the mobile screen basically and we can see that the current time is 10 53 and uh, i haven't received any message till now so let me trigger this system trigger this fire system and let's see how this system is working you can also see uh, in the smoke in in the lcd display the smoke value is showing 171 and in the fire it is low so basically i am using the uh, this flame sensor which is a digital sensor which will give us value high or low uh, we don't get any analog value from the flame sensor that's why uh, it's written uh, low uh, just uh, after fire and after smoke it is written the values so the threshold value for uh, detection of smoke is 200 so it is currently 160 you can see here 171 174 so let's first uh, trigger the fire then i will show you the smoke so let me trigger the fire by lighting up a matchstick okay you can hear that fire high and let me show you this uh for now it is 1054 and we have received one message second message there are two messages basically received this is on my first sim and this is on my second sim there basically i have written an arduino sketch arduino sketch basically this is the arduino sketch and uh i am sending two sms's like two on two mobile phone so currently flame state again became zero and when i when i triggered it it became one basically and which shows uh which shows high on this screen currently it is low again and the smoke value is 158 okay so that is how the smoke is uh, this fire is working and if you have seen the sms like alert type is uh, given here fire high basically it means that this uh, is triggered using the flame sensor okay so in the second part let's uh, uh, so some smoke to this sensor to our sensor let me first go to this demo the circuit and you can see that i will like uh, increase the smoke yeah you can see the value 215 smoke high let me remove it and uh, uh, you can also see the same smoke high fire low perfect uh, we have to wait okay perfect so it is 1056 i have received another two messages alert type smoke high alert type smoke high basically this alert is generated using the smoke sensor so this is how this system is working for this project 
and we will going to discuss each and every part of this project the requirement of this project includes a arduino uno board a flame sensor a mq2 gas sensor a buzzer and red and green leds you also need that uh, the fifth uh, the sixth requirement is a gsm module which will help us in triggering this uh, fire alarm system uh, sms basically sms trigger and at last we will also need a lcd display which will show all these data like the smoke current smoke value analog value of smoke sensor and the fire value basically fire uh, state like it is high or low the state of this fire flame sensor so these are seven sensors which is needed in this project and uh, let me uh, show you few points of these these sensors like uh, starting from this flame sensor uh, it is a digital sensor basically we will get value in high or low you can see here that uh, this uh, i have used this three pin flame sensor which in which first pin is basically the vcc one pin is ground and last pin is d0 which is the digital pin okay so this is how the flame sensor is working uh, apart from that we have also the flame sensor four pin flame sensor in which we can also get analog value and this is more this will be more useful in this project uh, because uh, it will be more accurate if we get some analog data for this flame sensor talking about this uh, mqt mq2 gas sensor it it is a four pin sensor in which uh, one pin is vcc second is ground basically from vcc we will supply 5 volt to to turn on the sensor same same for flame that we have to provide vcc 5 ground to ground and uh, there are two more pins like one is for digital if we need digital output like if we want to know uh, in high or low like if it detects the gas it will it will show us high or low then we will use d0 but in this case in my project right here you can see that i am uh, chew, I, I basically use the analog pin of the sensor you can get the reference from this last minute, minute engineers.com you can see that this four, four pin sensor we have also the sensitivity adjustment which you can do using this potential using this uh, potentiometer basically inbuilt here you can uh, uh, lose or screw it to adjust the sensitivity and we as we as i already told that it has analog pin and digital pin so i have used analog pin which will give a more accurate reading basically we will uh, uh, define our uh, uh, reading in with our Arduino sketch that uh, if uh, this value comes down to a uh, threshold this uh, constant value we can trigger this uh, fire alarm system basically so talking about the buzzer buzzer is a normal buzzer, buzzer you can buy purchase from the market red and green LEDs are also very uh, easily available and uh, sim 900 let me discuss this sim 900 GSM module so after you buy this product you have to uh, insert your 4g 3g or 2g sim basically it is you can see that it is a 2g slot right here like uh, you have to buy adapter if you have a 4g sim so you can also see the same uh, documentation of sim 900 on this website that uh, for this web for this uh, board for the sim 900 board we need to supply 12 volt and we can supply it from this two uh, DC jack right here we can easily supply the current 12 volt supply here and uh, we have to use this serial pins basically it will give us uh, we can send data using the serial port of uh, Arduino we can use the RXTX of Arduino but uh, uh, we can also use we can also use another pins but we need to use a library which is very important right here that uh, we have to use software serial.h if we don't want to use rxtx of arduino so this is the case like uh, we have to uh, use three pins here i will discuss this part more clearly when i discuss the circuit diagram for this project and uh, apart from it uh, we have led status indicator which is very important for this module basically uh, when you insert your sim it will blink very fastly like uh, the delay between the blink is a, like one second or less 
but after it is connected to a network your network basically if you have a airtel network or a geo network if uh, when it is connected to that network it will start blinking very slowly uh, you can also see the same on my setup like let me show you my setup here you can uh, see that uh, uh, that blink yeah green this green led is blinking very slowly uh, approximately three second of gap three second of delay basically that means that it is connected to my network and uh, apart from that we have uh, uh, these few or few more things you can easily uh, use for this gsm module but uh, in my case i am just using this module for sending the sms and uh, this is basically this will send sms using the serial commands perfect and we are uh, not uh, sending serial commands from this uh, serial monitor basically this uh, serial monitor we are basically sending it using a library software serial perfect so that's it for gsm module let's move to lcd display so this lcd display we are not using that uh, a la large amount of pins in this display basically we are using i square c interface with this lcd display basically uh using only four pins we are controlling these ma this lcd display for uh, gc the first pin is the vcc which which, uh, which needs 5 volt the second is ground and rest two pins are scl and sda basically the clock pin and the data pin which you can uh, read the documentation for i square c that how it is working uh, and you can easily understand that i will discuss the coding for i square c lcd display in the second part so you can see the circuit diagram of how you can hook this LCD display with your with your Arduino. It is very simple. You have to use the 5 volt supply to give the power and the ground to ground and the rest to SCL and HD are connected to the uh, basically it is connected to your uh, A uh, like I have used A4 and A5. A4 and A5 you can use for SCL and HD and these are fixed like i can't see that uh, thing here but uh, you have to use a4 and a5 for your lcd display so talking about the circuit diagram for this project let me move to full screen you can see the flasher leds for this in this circuit diagram but uh, we haven't used the flasher leds for this project we have used the status led is basically red status led which shows that uh, this is the flame this system detects the fire using flame sensor either flame sensor or smoke sensor and uh, the green led status thus initially it is in green state which means that there is no fire so you can uh, let me uh, explain everything here that uh, this lcd display we are using this uh, we have to zoom more here okay perfect now we can see easily that uh, a4 is connected to pin sda of uh, this lcd display and a5 is connected to scl and uh, this is smoke sensor we use one data pin like analog pin i haven't used the d0 pin i have used the a0 pin of smoke sensor and it is connected to a0 pin of arduino uno perfect and uh, for sim 900 gsm module we have used uh, uh, the rx and tx rx is rx is connected to pin number 10 and uh, tx is connected to pin number 9 perfect and ground is connected because uh, we know that uh, for a circuit for a whole for a whole circuit we have to make the all the grounds common so for take talking about the buzzer it is directly connected to pin number 5 and ground is connected to any of the ground you can see here and the flame sensor we use d0 uh, since i have no, i don't have this one this red flame sensor which have four pins i have the three pin flame sensor that's why i have used the d0 pin which is available a0 is not available for my case so d0 is connected to pin 6 and ground is connected to the ground and uh, the plus which is vcc is connected to the 5 volt you can see here 5 volt of Arduino Uno. So this is it and the flasher LEDs we haven't used the flasher LEDs in this project but uh, this uh, project is basically 
uh, from one of my another project so we can ignore this part we can ignore flasher leds from this circuit diagram let's uh, see the architecture then we can discuss the code for this project so how the detection section is working here is that after detection of the flame which can be detected either by this flame sensor or the smoke sensor and uh, after that arduino uno initially the green led turned to red red uh, the green led turned off and the red led turned on as action buzzer also start buzzing the fire detected displayed on the lcd display like fire high or smoke high according to the uh, according to the source basically if we have uh, uh, if we have detected this uh, fire using this this smoke sensor the smoke is high if it is detected using this uh, sensor this uh, flame sensor the, we can see fire high or low accordingly and uh, for this sensor for this uh, gsm module we are using also as a action as a result we are also going to send messages basically messages to two mobile numbers basically that's one more important thing which you will learn in this tutorial so we are going to use uh, in our arduino sketch two mobile numbers and how we are going to send that you can see that in the next section in which where i will discuss the project uh, project code so that's the architecture for this project let me directly jump to our code section so as i have already discussed that software serial is used for uh, reading this uh, gsm module rxtx pin uh, we are giving commands uh, the serial commands to to using this library so wire.h and liquid crystal.h are helpful in controlling the lcd display and we have few pins defined here like red is num 3 green is 4 these two are the status led buzzer is on pin 13 flame is on pin 6 flame sensor buzzer and smoke and flasher 1 flasher 2 okay we can ignore these two things because we haven't used flashers in this project these are the flasher leds basically when it, the fire is detected it will uh, turn on and turn off uh, at a very short period of time basically and we have also the flash rate and we can also ignore that the thrust is 200 right now we will discuss this thrust variable in the next in the further part status is currently true uh, alert message is a string which is defined here mob1 and mob2 you can see the first mobile number right here and this is the second mobile number and these two mobile numbers as you have already seen in the demo that uh, we got two messages uh, first on this number then second on this number so our code is starts from the setup method in which we have defined the out pins as output or input according to their usage so red and green are the status leds and they are the they are act as a output and these two are input basically the smoke sensor and flame sensor are act as input and uh, we have initialized the lcd display library like this and after that we have used the serial basically this library software serial and uh, as we have already created an object of my serial software serial and rx on pin 9 and tx on pin 10 you can also see the same on the circuit diagram for this project so accordingly we have used this object my serial of class software serial on rx on pin 9 tx on pin 10 and uh, we have uh, initialize this library here and uh, initialize this class basically and after that we have initialized the serial dot begin 9600 at the rate of baud rate is 9600 so which means that you have to select like uh, the baud rate after the upload code upload you have to select this baud rate to be 9600 due to this line of code so there is a small delay right here 100 millisecond of delay and we have also uh, we can also see a siren function but uh, we haven't used this siren uh, in our project but i will uh, give you a small demo that how this uh, buzzer will uh, buzzer will sound like a siren actually 
so you can also integrate that i will uh, share a small glimpse of that so talking about after the setup method we will basically this code will execute loop method regularly uh, so first we can see that this line of code is written which says gas value and its flame state so gas value is basically reading analog read of smoke pin smoke we are basically re analog this is analog sensor and we are reading it using this function analog, analog read and uh, string method is basically used for type casting here so so that we can uh, con concatenate this string with uh, another part this is this basically returned a number and we have converted it to a string and for the flame sensor the value is basically the opposite basically the negation of the digital read of flame so after reading this flame sensor which you which we have discussed we don't get the uh, actual result we get the result in opposite manner like if we get the value as high which means that there is no flame detected and if we get the value as low which means that flame is detected that's why i have uh, used this exclamation mark here okay and the string is here type casting also and uh, now this if condition says that if digital pin is of flame is low which means that if fire is detected from the frame sensor or this or or analog read greater than threshold value so th what is threshold value i i want to discuss this now that uh, when it value became greater than 200 so you have to configure calibrate your uh, uh, calibrate your mq2 sensor threshold value on your own basically so you have to check what is the uh, value when there is no flame and you and you will check when there is flame both you will compare both values and uh, set your threshold value accordingly like in my case it is 200 as i bring flame to this smoke sensor it will start the reading start great uh, becoming greater than 200 that's why i have uh, put the minimum uh, reading here 200 and uh, the value uh, the rest value here is for my flame sensor for my smoke sensor is uh, basically 170 180 190 around so you you have to set uh, a, a value very accordingly uh, this is basically a cal small calibration you need to done do by yourself so in this if if we have uh, written few line of quotes like we can ignore this thing because we haven't used this in our project uh, digital read red high so if it is the condition like if the fire is detected by any of th these uh, condition like if it is by fl flame or by smoke we will turn on the red light red led st red status led we will turn on the buzzer to high which means that buzzer will uh, became high uh, we, it we start uh, start uh, buzzing and after that we will also going to uh, make the green light as low the, this is the things we are doing right here and so we are to we we are like for displaying lcd display we are using these two sets of code in this if condition if the flame is detected using this flame sensor so in this if condition we are putting one more if condition so that uh, we can uh, show uh, is so this uh, correct statement you can see here that uh, it is smoke this and fire low we can show that correctly when uh, flame is uh, detected using this flame sensor fire is detected using flame sensor so the alert message is fire high you can uh, we have stored this message in this variable and we have also shown the same on the second line four zero like on x axis we will go four steps and on y axis we will go zero steps so uh, you can see this line of code will execute and uh, alert message fire high will be on second line basically uh, we can also see the same that second line fire low or fire high will display and uh, in the first line this is the y axis which is 0 and 1 uh, we will show this uh, smoke and this value analog read the reading of the smoke sensor and if it is uh, direct if it is uh, detect if the fire is detected by the smoke we are also 
using this lcd write function to show the same like smoke high on the first line like we have two lines here first line and this is the second line and uh, we are also we have uh, y axis this is first one is the x axis first argument the second argument is the y axis so x of x axis we are showing smoke high for first for first y axis line and the second y axis line we are showing the fire value which is deduced using this small code so here we are doing a small thing like uh, reading the flame sensor which say which gives us either high or low since it is a digital sensor and if it is low we will uh, uh, showing that uh, value will be high basically so after that we are ha having a one more if statement and this is very important if statement that uh, will restrict uh, because if uh, the fire is detected then we don't want to send message the sms message in every loop like uh, if fire is detected we don't want a bomba message bombarding on our mobile phones for preventing from that we are basically using a status variable which i have already defined as status as true and uh, you can see that after the in the first in the first loop it will executed and uh, it uh, and the status became false which means that in the second for in the loop this loop will execute it once again like it will execute it once again and it will not go inside this part this this these line of code will be not executed second time or third time so it will be executed only one time after this detection of fire which you can see the same comment here which says that uh, run one time only when detects the fire after after that fire detection basically fire detection here so that is how it is working and alert message we have stored in this variable that how it is the how the fire is detected either uh, either from flame or smoke the same message will be sent to our mobile number which i have already discussed in the demo part so right now uh, we can see that uh, this send message method is called with this message which is alert type uh, this method um, maybe let's assume that it is smoke high alert type smoke high in this first argument and mobile number which we have defined in the starting of this sketch as a second argument so what where is this method is defined so let's see that method so here is this method and we are using this software serial library we have using this object of that class to basically uh, executing some serial commands like uh, it it basically simple at commands we are sending simple at command using this library and using these at commands we are sending sms messages using this gsm module and after this uh, we can ignore these two lines this flasher line since we are not using flasher in this project so these uh, lines of code are helpful in uh, sending the sms message from gsm module these are simple at commands you can uh, read this at commands in the like uh, i will share the link of this thing you can all read all the at commands which are used for sending messages uh, receiving call sending calls or uh, accepting the uh, sms like all these things are executed using these at commands like at handshake with sim 900 at plus csq signal quality test read sim information these are the at commands you can execute very easily and after that we have we are also uh, check uh, that uh, if if the fire is not detected if this condition uh, is not uh, true we will execute this else statement regularly in this loop part so in the else statement we are basically showing the smoke value and fire state smoke is uh, having the analog value and fire is having the state and uh, apart from that uh, we can again ignore these two line of code and uh, red is low basically we are uh, turning down the red led red red status led also turning down the buzzer and also we are 
making the green status LED to turn on, which is high. 